guys, this is Chengu from My Life After Breakfast. I may not still be in New York, but that doesn't mean I'm not keeping up on New York City news. Have you guys heard about this recent serial killer on Long Island? Apparently he's killed about 10 people in the last 8 months. And while people are worried about the fact that somebody is currently killing people in Long Island, people are a little bit more worried about the fact that over the last 22 years, they've had 3 separate serial killers all killing prostitutes. Which, statistically speaking, is a complete and total anomaly. Especially when you consider the fact that they all killed mostly prostitutes. For several different men to be living in the same area and have the same type of victim is incredibly rare. So this has scientists asking why. The obvious answer to the first question of why they all have the same kind of victim, being prostitutes, is answered in the nature of their job. The whole getting in cars with strangers thing. I mean, not everyone's sitting around speculating. I mean, people are actually looking for him, especially with the fact that it is now summertime and people are naturally less cautious in the summer. Which I'm guessing is why there are actually a lot more serial murders during the summer. Please catch him soon! Ugh, scary. The natural second question of why so many serial killers in one tiny area is what most people are speculating about. Some people are saying it's a terrible area and maybe they should question their school system or the way people are being raised. Some people are just blaming it on those darn video games. Some people are just blaming it on the population because out of 2.8 million people who have lived there over the last 22 years, it makes sense that there would be three or four bad eggs. That's a theory that I hang my hat on. Scientists have been saying for years that there are way more serial killers and just generally bad people than there ever have been. And the fact of the matter is, I think yes, that's very true, but there are also just flat out more people. In a country that is still recovering from the baby boomers generation, it makes sense that there'd be a whole bunch of bad eggs. It's sad but true. The only thing that we can do to fix the situation is for parents to pay attention to their kids. If I have to hear one more time that some mother in a murder trial says, oh, I always knew what you were. Well, if you knew what he was, then you should have taken him to therapy so he could fix it before killing all those people. I don't know, that's just me speculating. If you have other ideas, other reasons why you think this is happening or other ways to fix it, put it in the comments below. Please remember to like and favorite as well as subscribe. I've got the behind the scenes for my Sunday video coming out next Sunday. Please remember to watch that video. I'll put a link right here so you can catch it in case you missed it. Otherwise, I'm still looking through to choose line for the next episode. Please remember to head back to that video and put a line in the comments if you have not, or put it in the comments for this one. The fact of the matter is that I literally would not be here today in Chicago without you guys. So if I can get you as involved as possible in what I am doing and moving forward with this channel, then that just means that I'm like, I don't know, floating on air. Either way, I love it. And I love you guys. My scoop's beautiful. You're amazing. <laughs> I love you guys. And I will see you very soon. Bye.